Oh, Sio Nagata, I heartily welcome you all to my Tribal Council update. Due to the surprising number of participants, we are unable to do this presentation live. Tonight, I will address a number of important issues that have occurred since I took office in August. Tonight's presentation will be a bit shorter than planned. I'm a bit under the weather. The first thing I would like to address is the Health Committee. Health care cost impacts the at-large directly and indirectly. Health care costs more than $880 million, which is more than one-third of the Cherokee Nation's annual budget. Almost all of us have at-large at have family and friends who reside in jurisdiction. I know many of my family and friends utilize the health care facilities of Cherokee Nation, and like many of you, you want them to receive the best medical care available. My first day at Tribal Council, I was elected chair of the health committee, and Dr. Mike Dobbins, a retired dentist, was elected vice chair. As far as I'm aware, we are the only two tribal counselors out of the 17 with medical backgrounds. And I feel it is important to note that the tribal council chose to elect the two counselors who are most qualified for these two positions. I feel we've accomplished a lot in three and a half months. It turns out that the physicians at all Cherokee Health Clinics and Hastings Hospital had not received raises in nine years. Morale was very low with our physicians. We had lost more than 100 physicians in the past six years. This is significant when one realizes that there are presently only 125 physicians on staff at all our medical facilities combined. So we went to work. The Tribal Council unanimously voted on pay raises for all our physicians, and they are still being worked out. We hope this issue will be fully resolved by January the 31st. We've also formed a health committee subgroup to work at resolving issues that are affecting our medical providers. This subgroup is working on a medical survey that will be submitted to all physicians and returned to the committee anonymously. We hope to resolve any problems to alleviate any more provider turnover. I would also like to share that the former executive director of health service recently resigned and the position is pre presently being held by Dr. Charles Grimm, who has a background and education in hospital administration. This is a very positive move for our healthcare system to have someone so well qualified for this position. While I was campaigning for tribal council, the one clear message I heard from our at-large members was they felt disconnected from our tribe and desperately wanted more communication and information. So I want to share that you can read the Cherokee Phoenix online for free. I also want to share that our Cherokee elders who are 65 and older may receive a hard copy of the Cherokee Phoenix for free. As budget meetings were underway, I had three conversations with our chief. I fought for and have been given a small allowance to make this available to those who do not have internet access. If you know of someone who meets this description, please contact me directly at marybakershaw.com with their name, address, and phone number, and I will see to it that it is properly submitted. I would also add that this allowance was shared with the other at-large counselor as well. I ran on education reform for the at-large population. When I campaigned, I said I would provide opportunities for all college students to access scholarships, resources, and opportunities through traveling workshops and seminars. And I would help keep college within reach for every student regardless of where they live and expanding equal opportunities to all Cherokees. I partnered with the Cherokee Pins Project Foundation, a Cherokee Community Foundation, to provide free college prep and scholarship workshops online that are available to all Cherokees. I have partnered with Native American leaders in higher education 
to provide services like FAFSA training, college essay writing, social media training, and even set up Scholarship Saturday on my Facebook page to provide updated scholarship opportunities. There are some scholarship opportunities available through the Cherokee Nation. The Cherokee Nation, through the College Resource Department, has offered at-large citizens that are PALE eligible the Cherokee Nation Undergraduate Scholarship. This is up to $2,000 a semester. Now, this does not mean that the student that qualifies will receive the full $2,000. The total budget for scholarships is $12 million in our budget, and students in jurisdiction and the contiguous counties qualify for the $2,000 regardless of financial hardship. I believe our at-large communities have been disconnected and neglected for far too long. I'm going to ensure the limited at-large dollars go where they should go, to our at-large. Over the last three years, at-large scholarships awarded through the Cherokee Nation Foundation have become more scarce and our at-large youth have fewer and fewer opportunities. Last year, the foundation did not award any of the at-large scholarships to students that live outside the state of Oklahoma. With over 25 at-large community groups around the country, all with youth members must never see educational support from the tribe. This year, I'm going to use a portion of my community funds to establish 25 new at-large scholarships that will be administered by the at-large communities themselves because all Cherokees count regardless of where they live. Should, and this should be have the, they should have the opportunity to pursue the career of their dreams. Many of our at-large youth show a propensity to give back to the at-large communities, but due to lack of funding or simply because of geographic location, at-large citizens are not receiving merit or community-based scholarships. I strongly believe we need to reward those efforts. We must help support all our at-large communities by providing them with support to help their communities and members to succeed and thrive well into the future. Establishing 25 new scholarships is a step in the right direction to providing equal opportunities to all Cherokees. Thank you for your time tonight. The last three and a half months have been eventful. It's an honor to serve the at-large, and I have really enjoyed it. I look forward to meeting many of you in person at the upcoming months. If you have any questions or concerns, my personal cell phone number is 918-630-4000. I will keep my website and Facebook up to date with event information. Please subscribe to my newsletter at www.marybakershaw.com. Wado.